So it's my birthday and Brady's off promised me a present at the Nanotechnology Center. I've been told that they need to take one of my hairs. So he's sticking the hair down with a piece of double-sided sticky tape that's coated with copper so it conducts electricity. He's choosing a nice flat bit. Quite difficult with my hair. So Mike is now putting my hair into a very sophisticated electron iron beam microscope. I don't think I've ever had any of my hairs put into a vacuum before. We're now ready to go. The electrons are starting. Mike's going to draw a picture in that yellow rectangle. Oh, periodic table. Is it right? Yes, even got Copernicium there. So, far away. The periodic table that they're drawing is 100 microns long, 50 high. We could get a million of those periodic tables onto one of these post-it notes. The key thing is this green bar here. Mike is irradiating it with ions of gallium at huge speed, knocking off tiny flakes of my hair. And when this green bar gets to the end, the periodic table's ready. Let's see what's happened. Ooh. So each element, or each symbol, is four microns across. The size of the periodic table is that it's 89.67 microns across and 46.39 microns from helium, the top of helium, down to the bottom of Lorentzian. This is by far the smallest periodic table that I've ever seen. Obviously it's the best because it's on my hair. Just think how many periodic tables you could put on my whole head. All over each hair and all the way round. Be quite a lot. There's the hair on the copper and Mike's now just going to zoom in so you can see the periodic table. Let's go. Keep going. So there it is. Great. Can I have my hair back? It's all right, the hair's still there. So, periodic table on one of your hairs. Happy birthday from the Nano Centre. Thank you very much. It's the best present I've had. <laughs> Actually, I've only had two presents today, so, but this one's the nicer. So, we're back in chemistry. There's the biggest periodic table in Nottingham. Here's the smallest. Who knows? Perhaps the smallest in the world. 